request Chris Gopalakrishnan to announce the winner of the Infosys Prize in the Physical Sciences, which accepts nominations in chemistry, physics, geology, and ecology, broadly speaking. The Infosys Prize 2019 for Physical Sciences is awarded to Professor G. Mukesh. <laughs> Professor, Department of Inorganic and Physical Chemistry, Indian Institute of Science, Bangalore. You can read the... Congratulations, Dr. Mukesh, on being awarded the 2019 Infosys Prize in Physical Sciences. Your work is fundamental and also has practical applications. With your command of chemistry, you're able to synthesize, synthesize chemicals such as enzymes for biological use. At the same time, you also have developed a clever technique to transport these chemicals efficiently to specific sites. The application for activating thyroids is of considerable practical value as an instance. Congratulations again, Dr. Mugesh. We have uh, Professor Mugesh uh, amongst us, uh, so let me ask him to come to the stage. Please, sir. Uh, Good morning to all of you, and I'm delighted to be here, and uh, one of uh, the best moments in life, and uh, receiving the Infosys Prize 2019 in Physical Sciences. And I'm extremely grateful to the Infosys Science Foundation and the jury members for selecting me for this very, very prestigious award. And I have not prepared to speak here. And I just want to mention a few things about our research activities. And uh, we are designing new compounds, new molecules that can regulate the biological systems in the cells. And uh, preparing novel molecules, synthesizing, is not very difficult. But I think making molecules with a purpose and with a function and with the desired function in the human body is really challenging. And our group is working on making new molecules that have functions. And what we would like to do in the future is that using such molecules to regulate in, in our applications, we would like to regulate the cellular functions. These are small molecules. And we develop artificial enzymes that functions as enzymes in human body and that are as advantages and delivering them into specific sites and regulating the systems and going from a specific target for treating diseases and going to much broader of a view of regulating the systems. And that's the heart of chemical biology now and working at the interface of chemistry and biology. And I'm really grateful that Infosys Science Foundation decided to give award in the area interface of chemistry and biology and which is, in my opinion, very important. And uh, the achievements, and uh, I, I'm not sure whether I have achieved anything so far, and uh, I should uh, mention here is that I'm you know, really overwhelmed by this award, coming from a small village of 20 houses, and uh, coming from a farmer's family, and the parents never studied in school, and came to this level, I think, I, I really, uh, I don't know, something that drove me to this place. And uh, my parents are no more, and uh, my wife, and she's supporting me 15 years, taking care of things at home, and uh, allowing me to work in the lab. And uh, in the future, I, Owe oh, this to my teachers, IIT Bombay, where, which laid the foundation for my development, which, have, which provided platform to learn things. And uh, so we will be working on two areas. One is uh, developing compounds that can regulate biological system under disease conditions. One disease that we are looking at is endothelial dysfunction, which is the beginning of heart attack. So people get endothelial dysfunction 
five to 10 years before they get heart attack. So we are trying to make uh, small molecules and enzyme mimetics to regulate the biological system, the nitric oxide level in the blood, which can actually uh, you know, uh, work, uh, could be a treatment for this disease. The second area that we will be working on is developing compounds to treat stroke in neurodegeneration. As uh, Mr. Gopalakrishnan mentioned about Alzheimer's disease, and we know that uh, metal ions play a very important role, and when we say that iron, for example, put the iron rod outside in moisture, it gets trusted. And uh, our human body has about 66 to 7 grams of iron. We have oxygen and water, but no rusting takes place. And it's amazing how human body controls this, and, and it goes dysregulated. For example, release of iron in brain lead to Alzheimer's disease and other diseases. So we would like to study the role of these trace metals, that is iron, selenium, and other trace metals, how they control the brain functions, and uh, uh, that, that's important for the function of the brain. And uh, with this, I would like to also thank the Indian Institute of Science. In my opinion, the best, best institute in India to carry out cutting edge research and uh, complete freedom to carry out the research that we want. And uh, people don't believe if I say I'm doing such work in the Department of Inorganic and Physical Chemistry, and this is not possible in other institutions. And uh, great support from the Institute and the Department of Inorganic and Physical Chemistry, all my colleagues. And finally, I would like to thank my students and uh, who put a lot of hard works. And I have a multidisciplinary students. I take students from both chemistry and biology and let them learn, and which I call it as intra-lab collaboration. And uh, that is, in my opinion, it's very important. And then you go to the collaboration outside, and that becomes much more effective. And uh, thanks, one, thank, thank you once again for uh, giving me this opportunity and also you know, uh, bestowing me with this uh, very, very prestigious award. Thank you very much.